Earlier this summer, we released a video showing off our attempt at building a power supply for our very own Proto Saber. Of 20 lithium polymer batteries, producing over 200 kilowatts of power. That is more electricity than three North American homes can produce. And if something goes wrong, the whole thing goes boom. Needless to say, it didn't go so well. In fact, even the fire department showed up. Anyways, that video was just about power supply, but a bunch of you guys uh, had some ideas about what we were actually gonna do for the lightsaber, and a few of you actually got it right. We're gonna take a stainless steel rod just like this. We're gonna wrap it in ceramic insulation, and then, using our lathe, we're gonna wrap the cam wire all the way around it, and it's actually gonna connect at the end to complete the circuit. Feed this with 300 volts at about 20 amps, and we'll have a yellow hot rod of destruction. Since this is a shorter length of wire, we actually only need about 24 volts to get it going. And as you can see, it gets red hot super fast. Woo. Now, to make it sound like a lightsaber, we actually have a sound module from the lightsabers that saber experts make. And basically, it's actually got a small uh, IMU on it. So when you swing it around, it will actually make the saber sounds of you swinging it around. Anyway, enough talking about it, let's put it together. Six and a half hours later. All right, so the team's been hard at work and we have the first Proto Saber prototype <laughs> finished and we're about to turn it on for the very first time. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are working with a bit of a higher voltage, which does mean there's a few safety concerns, so we have a few safety precautions here. We've got a CO2 fire extinguisher here right now. We've got a rip cord, which Dave is manning, and basically he pulls this, it unplugs the battery, and kills all the power. Um, if Ian starts to get electrocuted, Bogdan has a wooden pokey stick that he can poke Ian's dead body with, and then we can get on with our day. This is just a temporary battery box. It's actually off of our Batman Baja project. Uh, it's basically just holding all the batteries together. Later on, we will actually be building the Proto Saber Power Pack, which will actually be like a backpack holding all the um, batteries for you to use the Proto Saber. So, I think we're ready to turn it on. All I have to do is plug in this red, red wire and we'll be live. On one note, we're actually running this at 150 volts DC at the moment, which is technically still kind of safe, but if it goes well, we're gonna up it to 300 volts which will get it even hotter, so. And if we need to, we can take it to 400. Up to 400 volts, so that'll be extra hot. When Ian presses the big button, it's gonna turn on the actual saber, and hopefully we get some uh, red hot. I'm just gonna back up, don't mind me. Ian is wearing highly insulated gloves, so uh, should be fine, and yep, we're getting some heat. We, we might need to wear those silver volcano suits when we actually test this thing, <laughs> otherwise we might be getting a tan. All right, as you can see, the tip is getting orange hot and it's actually gonna move along and the whole thing should become orange hot. And then if there's enough power, it might even become yellow hot. I think we should crank the power. Yeah? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna give it more power. Ho ho. There we go. Oh, you can feel the heat. Oh, I, I can feel the heat. I'm not pressing the button, but it seems like it's still on. So, there appears to be a slight issue with the MOSFET and it's not turning itself off, so we're gonna just pull that wire. Nice big spark there. And now it's, it's cooling down. Now we realize that this blade design isn't quite as durable as we had hoped. So we've already come up with a much better design that's going to be hotter, stronger, and easier to cut through things. In the meantime, let's test this out and see what it can do before we break the blade. All right, let's start with something easy, a styrofoam head. Die, Stormtrooper. Mm. Now this blade is hot. Canthal's operating temperature is around 1400 Celsius, which is almost 2500 Fahrenheit. In fact, it's so hot, it ignites things just by touching. Oh. <laughs> Woo. If you have something with much less mass, you can cut right through it. Pop bottle. 
Ooh, that's flamey. Solder. Crayola. Wait a sec. This wasn't locked. By the way, we have a whole bunch of new merch at hacksmith.store.